Jason asked, I have started to submit supporting documentation for the A20. It seems to me that they want the same document but in different categories. Do I carry on giving the same document or is uploading it once enough? So I'll quickly reiterate what I said to Jason there in that there is never any need to upload the same document more than once. You know, you, and that's the first thing. The second thing is that we don't place too much of an emphasis or importance on the IMI upload category or where you're uploading the document on the IMI checklist. What matters is that you're giving them the documents in the sense that you're uploading it somewhere in the portal. Um, secondly, what we feel matters more is that you're renaming the document accordingly and clearly and labeling things well, uh, which is something that you know, we built into the VZ checklist in terms of giving, giving you a renaming guide. In the example case files that some people have access to or have purchased separately, you'll see how we rename documents. So we place more emphasis on renaming. Um, and lastly, you know, where you upload on the, IMI, on the IMI upload checklist matters less because, as I said to Jason, realistically, you can, one document can be used to evidence various things. So one document could relate to both the financial aspect or the household aspect, cohabitation aspect, or the nature of the commitment of a couple. You know, so therefore, it, there can't be a right or wrong category to upload certain documents under because genuinely they could be put under multiple. Um, so don't overthink it too much. Ultimately, the purpose of those upload categories is to make the case officer's job a little bit easier, which is something you want to do anyway. And it's something that um, you will naturally do as you go through this process and use VZ in the examples and organizing your documentation and renaming things. Ultimately, the reason you're doing that is to make, firstly, to better evidence your relationship, but secondly, to make the case officer's job as easy as possible. The easier you make their job, the ultimately the faster things can be processed. That's just human behavior. Um, and you know, you're not dealing with a robot. It's not AI technology, just ticking things. There's someone that has to physically look at everything. So the more organized your stuff is, the more appropriate the IMI categories that you upload under, you know, could have an effect on processing time. But again, I would place more emphasis on what you're uploading, so the actual evidence, your facts and what you're evidencing, the what you're renaming them, and lastly, what category you're selecting. That's the least important factor here in terms of document uploading or managing your documents.